Today I'm doing a deep dive into the 2024 presidential election. Today's video focuses on the state of Utah. Utah and its voting history for the president in 2020 voted for Donald Trump the Republican by 20.5% of the vote. In 2016 it voted for Donald Trump by 18.1% of the vote. And in 2012 it voted for Mitt Romney, current senator from Utah, by 48% of the vote. Right now, in the 2024 polling average in the state of Utah, Trump holds a lead of 32% in the average, and the average margin of victory result across the last three elections was 28.9%. Utah is certainly a state that is expected to go for the Republican this time around. The national vote margin of victory across the last three elections in 2020 was 4.4%. In 2016, it was 2.1%. 2012, 3.9%. The 2024 national head to vote or head to head uh, vote polling average. Right now, Kamala Harris has a lead of 1.8% nationally as of the time I'm recording this, and the average margin of victory result is 3.5%. Just based on the last few elections, Harris right now is underperforming the average margin of victory result by about half, which is certainly not a good sign for her nationally in a very very competitive election. Utah's vote compared to the national vote in 2020, Utah voted 24.9% to the right, more Republican than the nation. In 2016, Utah voted 20.2% more Republican than the nation. And in 2012, Utah voted 51.9% more Republican than the nation, leading to an average popular vote difference of plus 47 in Utah in favor of the Republicans. For the presidential forecast for the state of Utah, Real Car Politics has Utah as solid Republican. Salvador Crystal Ball has Utah as safe Republican. Inside Elections has it as solid Republican. Decision Desk HQ in the Hill has Utah as safe Republican. And Cook Political Report has Utah as solid Republican. Pretty much total agreement Utah will be a safe to solid Republican state. Now some key counties I'm watching for in the state of Utah. The first county I'm watching for is Salt Lake. This one voted by 20.3% for Romney in 2012, 9% for Clinton in 16, and 10.9% in 2020 for Biden. This is a county that was red, that's trending blue. The margins of this county is what I'm more specifically looking out for. There aren't a ton of toss-up counties in Utah, but the margins of how this county goes is one I'm certainly watching for. Summit County voted 4.6% uh, for Romney in 2012, 154 for Clinton in 2016, and 19.1 for Biden in 2020. Again, I'm looking at the margins in this one. Is Kamala Harris getting Biden and Clinton numbers or closer to Romney numbers from 2012? This is the type of thing I am watching for. Grand County, this is one of the more close counties in Utah based on the last three elections, where it was Romney plus 6.8, Trump won it in 2016 by 0 0.3, and then Biden won it in 2020 by 10.8. This is one I'm very fascinated in because there was a pretty big vote swing in every one of these presidential elections. So I'm interested to see how Utah is going to go on election night in Grand County. Will it swing one way or another? That remains to be seen. But I'm definitely watching this one very closely. The last county I'm looking for is San Juan, where it was 17.6% for Romney in 2012, 11.1% for Trump in 2016, and Trump plus 6.1% in 2020. Clearly a county that is getting about six points less red in the last three elections. Does this trend continue in 2024? If it does, that will be a borderline tie in the county with Harris maybe being able to take a lead there. So I'm watching that one very closely as well. Looking at the statewide map for Utah, right now in 2020, Trump versus Biden. Trump got 58.1% to Biden's 37.7%. And these counties I just went over, I'll show you again. Salt Lake County had 53 to 42.1. Summit County, 58.4, 39.3. Grand County, 54.1, 43.4. And San Juan County, 51.4 to 45.3. In 2016, Trump versus Clinton, 45.6 for Trump, 27.5 for Clinton. There was a third party candidate, Evan McMullen, who got a big percentage of the vote in the third party. Salt Lake was 42.33 in favor of Clinton. Summit was 50.9, 35.5 in favor of Clinton. Grand County, 43.6 to 43.2 for Trump. San Juan, 48.6, 37.5 for Trump. In 2012, Obama versus Romney. Romney got 72.8% of the vote statewide. Obama got 24.8%. And Romney won every single county in the state of Utah, including Salt Lake County, 58.6, 38.3. Summit County, 50.8 to 46.2. 
Grand County 50.5 to 43.7, and San Juan 57.9, 40.3. This is a very big win for Romney, who spent a lot of time in the state of Utah and I believe currently lives in Utah. I don't think a map like this for 2024 is even remotely close to being possible, but this is what an absolute Republican best case scenario in Utah would look like. Now looking at the Republican vote across the last three presidential elections, in 2020, Trump got 58.1%. 2016, he got 45.6%. And in 2012, Romney got 728 When you conduct a range equation of the last three elections, you find a high end of 100% of the vote and a low end of 18.4% of the vote, subtracting the highest total and the lowest total of 72.8 minus 45.6. You really cannot get any wider of a spread for the range, and this really does not tell us all that much. However, the average vote of the last three elections at 58.8 is probably more indicative of what the actual election results will be rather than the range. Now we're looking at the Democratic side, where in 2020, Joe Biden got 37.7%, 2016, Hillary Clinton got 27.5%, and in 2012, Barack Obama got 24.8%. That led to a range of 11.9% to 50.6%. Again, a very large range that really does not give us too much to go off of, but I think the average vote of this one showing at 30% is probably more in line with what we'll get than the higher the low of the ranges. Looking at my prediction for the state of Utah and its six electoral votes, right now I have Donald Trump winning the state of Utah with 58.8% of the vote, two Kamala Harris's 35.9%, a margin of victory of 22.9% of the vote, which when you look at it is kind of in between what Romney got in 2012 at 48% and what Trump got in 2020 at 20.5%. I think Utah is a state that was not super pro-Trump in 2016, despite him winning it, compared to, say, some other Republican states. But it's a state that has gotten a little bit redder in 2020, and I think we'll get a little bit redder again in 2024. So with the state of Utah added to Trump's column, right now in the videos I've done, Kamala Harris has 81 electoral votes, Donald Trump has 20, and I still have a long way to go on the electoral map. Harris has won California, Oregon, Washington, and Hawaii. Trump has won Alaska. Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and now the state of Utah. So please stay tuned because I'll be having the state of Nevada coming out next. Thank you so much for watching and hope you please stay tuned for that video. It is now 10 o'clock on the East Coast and we have a poll closing in four more states. Those states being the states of Iowa, Montana, the all-important swing state of Nevada, and Utah. Here's what we can tell you about them at this time. And lastly, in the state of Utah, Donald Trump has won the state of Utah and its six electoral votes. That will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a like. And if you really liked it, please remember to click the subscribe button. And make sure you turn post notifications on so you always get notified when I post a new video. That way you never miss one. Also, please remember to share this video with your friends and family if you really, really, really liked the video. And remember to stay tuned because I'll be posting at least one video every single day leading up until election day so i'd really appreciate it if you keep coming back and watching those videos thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in a future video